To get started with audio, we're going to stay in our edit workspace. You may have noticed there's an audio workspace up here, but that's for more advanced audio editing, which we will cover in a future video. Audio on the timeline interacts in the same way that we saw previously with footage in terms of cutting and placing it. To be able to interact with the audio specific tools, you need to hold down the shift key. While holding shift, there's a few things you're able to do. The first is to raise or lower the volume of an individual clip. You simply click and hold onto this white bar here. You can drag it up to make the clip louder or drag it down to lower the volume for the whole clip. You can see the waveform of the clip here, which is the visual representation of the sound waves of the audio going up or down to represent this change. There may be times where you want to make one or several parts of the clip louder or quieter without affecting the whole clip. To do this, you simply click without holding wherever you'd like on the line, and this creates something called a keyframe. You can see I've created two here. If I now click, hold and drag the keyframe, you can see how it affects things, visually represented by the waveform. If I drag this first one up, the audio will start louder, but then decrease in volume from the first keyframe to the second. If we click to add a third keyframe and drag that down, you can see from the waveform that the clip now starts louder, but decreases from the first to the second keyframe. It then increases again between the second and the third keyframes. Let's play that back so you can hear it in action. You can add as many keyframes as you like and also remove them by clicking on the keyframe and hitting delete or backspace. Another way of interacting with your audio is to fade in and fade out your clips. While holding shift on the keyboard, you simply click and hold on this corner segment here with the mouse and drag it along for as long as you would like the fade to last. Let's drag this along a little bit and then hit play. You can hear that that was quite a short fade. Now let's drag it along further and we'll hit play again. You can hear that fade is much longer now. Fading out works the same way but on the right hand side of the clip. Most footage will come with some form of audio attached, like our clips here. You don't have to just work with the audio associated with your footage though. You can include some additional audio, such as music, on the secondary track. You can even replace the audio that came with your clips completely if you'd like, which is what I'm going to do now. First I'll clear this audio by holding the Option key on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC, clicking on the clip and then hitting Delete or Backspace. Now what I'd like to do with my audio is to start with the ambient sound of the bike and then fade that down into some music to help set the scene. So first I'll bring in sound effect number one of the bike idling and then sound effect number two of the bike pulling away. I will then bring in my music. I don't need the full piece of music, so I'll use some of the techniques we learnt in the importing footage guide, such as mark and park and replace footage, to bring in the bit that I need. Now it's all in place, we can fade down the bike sound and fade in the music. Now, if we play the whole timeline back, you can see we've successfully recreated the short edit we saw at the start of the editing footage video.